So we've spoken about the Atlantoids now, we spoke on the Atlantoids, we spoke on the Atlantoic Seas, all right, and many things. All right, so now what is the fate of the Atlantoids? Because uh, the fate of the Atlantoids is basically like uh, us talking about um, how does the Atlantoid structure end up, okay, in the developing embryo. So what is the fate of the Atlantoids? All right, so you can see this is the Atlantoids. You see the Atlantoids circled in red. And you can see the median umbilical ligament is now cycled in red too, all right? Showing us that the allantois ultimately becomes a median umbilical vein, all right? But not only the median umbilical vein, all right? So we're talking about all the parts that the allantois actually regress to form, right? So basically, guys, the allantois is rudimentary in human embryos. It has no use, okay? So now... It has no use. Uh, rudimentary. It means that um, it will it will come and disappear, or or it will come and form other structures different, totally different from the allantois. Do you understand? So the allantois is involved in early blood formation. It may also contribute into the development of the bladder. All right. So now looking at the structure of the Atlantoids and the bladder, you could see that there are two different structures. All right. So that's to tell you guys that the Atlantoids ultimately become structures that are totally different from the Atlantoids that we know. All right. So that's why they term it rudimentary. Okay. So looking at this, uh, this is the Atlantoid duct, uh, umbilical vessels. All right. Our focus should be this um, median umbilical ligament. Okay, so that's talking about the allantois as a whole. Now let's talk about uh, the apical part of the allantois. All right, this is the one that actually forms a lot of things. So the apical part of the allantois gradually shuts down or atrophies. So as it atrophies, it forms initially. That's the, the immediate postnatal life. It forms the urethrus. Okay, so later on. The urethrus will become the median umbilical ligament. Okay, so both structures extend from the apex of the bladder to the umbilicus, right? So looking at this, see this is the median umbilical ligament extends from the apex of the bladder to the umbilicus. Okay, so now both structures extend from the apex of the bladder to the umbilicus. Uh, the blood vessels running on each side of the allantois become the umbilical vessels when the connecting stalk becomes enfolded in the umbilical cord. Okay, so when the connecting stalk becomes enfolded in the umbilical cord, uh, the blood vessels running on each side of the, of the allantois become the umbilical blood vessels. Okay. So see this is the allantois or the allantoid duct and see these blood vessels running okay running by the sides of the allantois okay but later on in development now these blood vessels become the umbilical blood vessels right so basically guys that's the fate of the allantois as a fate of the allantois okay Becoming the urethrus and the median umbilical ligament. Okay, that's it. See you guys in the next year.